Hello! Alright, got a battle against Viral. Uh, it's 5th gen OU, which normally I really, really hate to high Helen Mac, but I I made a kind of funky team, so I figured I'd give it a whack. And he has a nine tails, so I immediately see him, oh, some team. But then he's, he has a Swampert, so I'm like, hmm, maybe not. And he later told me that he likes Nine Tails, but he hates using it as a Sun Team. So I was like, "Oh, props to you, sir, for not using a regularly used annoying ability." Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm still really feeling quite crap, but oh well. I need to uh, talk to you guys about someone anyway. And um, this is a pretty good example of what I wanted my team to do, even though it's never done it in any other battle yet, but eh, what are you going to do? So he leads off with a Skarmory and I lead off with my Gyarados thinking he probably would. And the brilliant thing about this Gyarados is it has Fire Blast! Hey! And um, no, he didn't, he didn't see that one coming, but I don't think anyone ever does. So that takes him down to his Sturdy, I think. Unless it left him at single digit HP. Either way, it's alright. And um, he makes a really, really, really risky play right off the bat. And predicts me to Fire Blast again. But it's like, why? I might miss. It would be fairly pointless. So I'm just going to Waterfall. Because it's going to hit just about everything on his team. Apart from the Dragonite and the Salamence. And he goes into his Nine Tails, Hoping I'd Fire Blast again. But I'm like, no. Get some. No, I was really happy when it didn't have drought on that nine tails. I was like, "Well done, sir." Props to you for not using that annoying bloody thing. So I get my Moxie boost, and I think he goes into Dragonite just to kill my Gyarados, because like, like I say, I've got Ice Fang and stuff, and I've got DD as well. So yeah, he goes into Dragonite just to Draco me or me. Because I know I'm going to be slower. Because I have max special attack. Because it's the only way you can make a mixed Gyarados work. But it means you get no bulk. That's the only thing I hate about it. It can't take a hit to save its fucking life. But oh well. So I die. And I'm thinking, and I see the life form. I'm like, right, he's mixed. No doubt about that. But I do have Metagross. Which does have quite, well, it's got a bit of HP and a bit of defense. It's meant to be able to take hits and then threaten stuff out with um because this is mixed as well so he goes for the eq i figured i'd live that if it was banded i don't think i would but i live it with 68 hp nearly 69 but there you go and i icy wind because i'm a big fan of icy wind as you can probably see from my other vids um it gets a crit now i personally think that mattered because I don't have Bullet Punch, and if you build a Dragonite right, it could take freaking Ice Beams without Yachi Berries. So, there you go. So, I gen I generally think it mattered, but I had, I had like, Sucker Punch Umbreon to deal with it, so I'm not that bothered. And then comes an Ape, and I'm like, um... What do I go into? I, I think I just go straight into Gliscor, because it's like, well, Gliscor's not going to take anything. No matter what he does, unless it's a banded Flare Blitz, then bleh. Gliscor's just going to take it and then just flip him off like, yeah, that did crapple. But he goes for a banded Rock Slide, which does, again, crapple. So I was like, yeah, that's alright. And I figure he's going to switch into something. So I get an SD up on the switch. He goes into his Skarmory. I'm not really sure why, because if I had Ice Lang, I'd outspeed and kill it. So, that didn't really make a lot of sense to me, but there you go. He said this was his first time building an OU team as well. And this is my first OU, proper OU team I've made. I've got a well, I've got a well jokey one with, like, Banded Gengar. But, I never use that. So, I Baton Pass out. Because uh, I have only have EQ. And I figured he'd Whirlwind. So, I wanted to go into something and then maybe get sent back into, like, I don't know... Metagross. But no, he goes for a Tailwind. I was like, oh, that's different. I don't see that every day. And I'm thinking, right, I'm plus two. Max attack, for God's sake. You'd think a Bullet Punch at that amount of HP would kill a Skarmory. But no. 
turns out I was a right twat about it, and Bullet Punch doesn't kill. Especially with the Tailwind, that factored in a lot, so I was thinking, oh, I might just be able to get a kill now. But it does crap all. I'm like, well, damn, that's retarded. So I'm thinking, well, alright, now he's going to have two layers of spikes up for free, so I may as well just dynamic punch him now, instead of trying to continuously bullet punching him, because that'll be like a 4 hit KO, it would just be pointless. Now this Machamp is originally intended as a physical attacker, because it's max attack, and a physical wall with power trick and tickle. Yes, only real Machamps tickle people. That, that that's That's what the pro should do, man. So he brings in Salamence and he intimidates me. I'm like, well, I'm still plus one. It's not too bad. And I think he goes for a Dragon Pulse and I just go for a um, uh, uh, Dynamic Punch. See, I never use OU, so I never, I never use Dynamic Punch either. So I never remember its name. Anyway, that does a little under half. So I'm quite confident about that. And the Tailwind P is out. And I think here I just start tickling it so I can take it out with Bullet Punch. Because I took that Dragon Pulse fairly well. I was quite happy with that. Yeah. So in comes Swampert and I tickle that. And I'm like, yeah. Eat my tickle, punk. And then I go for a Dynamic Punch here. And he was surprised because like, it's a Swampert. Even though I'm plus one, he's minus one in defense. He was quite surprised that it killed anyway. And to be fair, Swampert is a defensive monster. If you spec it up right, it is pretty good. So, and I, I just one-shot it. So, you know, there you go. The power of a Machamp with a tickle on it. Such a beast. But that takes it out. And then you told me later it was mixed defenses. And I was like, ah, that's why it killed. So he goes right back into Salamence, intimidate me again, drop my attack. So now I'm just new, I'm just a normal attack now. Which, it, it's still pretty powerful. But I'm thinking Dynamic Punch is going to do crap all. So I just go with a Bullet Punch. And he gets a crit. And that mattered. That really did. Because it would have been a 3 hit KO without the crit. And he would have 2 hit KO'd me with Draco Meteor. And I was amazed Machamp lived there. I was like, what the hell? I mean, it's got, what, 100 HP, 150 special defense? With max attack. So I was like, whoa, what? How the hell did he manage that? Although I suppose the bullet punch, the next bullet punch didn't kill. I mean, look at that. I I don't see the HP bar. The hell, stupid Salamence. So yeah, my champ goes down. But again, like I say, I'm not bothered because I've got Toja Kiss with extreme speed. Oh yes, I imported this set over to fifth gen, or I hacked another one in because I love it so much. It's so good. It re it just wrecks everything. So extreme speed, take it out. Like I say, I, I wasn't really that bothered, but the crit probably didn't matter. Because if it was a 2 hit KO with a max attack Machamp, I'm not sure if an extreme speed from a Togekiss would have killed it. Or oh, it might have been a 4 hit KO with Bullet Punch, actually. Anyway, in comes Ape, and I'm thinking, uh, okay, let's switch into something, die, um, hopefully from a close combat, and then bring in Togekiss extreme speed for the win. But I believe he goes with Rock Slide again, and he was like, oh, I should have locked myself into something better. But to be fair, if he went with Close Combat, he um, would have been, he wouldn't have been able to take out my Gliscor. If he gone with Flare Blitz, Flare Blitz was probably his best bet. Anyway, so Metagross is going to die, and Metagross did his job, so props to the guy. And I'm thinking, alright, he told me it was Bandit at this point. I was like, well, you know. Toge Kiss has taken a few hits in its time. Let's give it a go. You know, so I take more I take more stealth rock damage. I come in, I'm thinking, right, bugger it. Let's just extreme speed it and hope it kills. And I go for it. And I hit it. And it's going down. And it doesn't kill. But then he rock slides. And look, look at that. I fucking live. It only did about 150 damage. I swear to God, this Togekiss. Such a beast. Ah, oh, This has got to be one of my favourite sets I've made, along with Licky Licky sets. But there you go. Licky Licky's my favourite Pokemon. So I take it out for the win, and I'm pointing at it. I don't know what I'm doing there. And then I try and make a thumbs up, but all you see is a kind of dark blob. So yeah, 
That is the game. Good game, Viral. I have fun with that one. It kind of showed what I wanted my team to do. Anyway, I've got a minute. So, um, what I wanted to say is, I've got Forza Motorsport 4 coming on Thursday, maybe Friday. Friday's when it's released, but I'm on a special website that deliver it early. So, if you want, I will upload it. The only problem is, is that it's quite, it's not like, um, Ranko's videos, for example, where she does, um, Mario Kart Wii, where it's really, really, really quick, and it's really, really fun. It's kind of slow, it's, as I say, it's nitty gritty for car bores like me. But if you want it, I'll upload it as I play. Or I'll do it on my other, um, account. And I'll just do like a couple of videos a week, just to go along with the Bayonetta and the Pokemon videos, because eventually that's going to start boring people. Or, I can do Pokemon trading card game, which uh, mate has gotten me into. Either way, post a comment, or um, saying what you want, or leave a like. And if you leave a like, I'll interpret it as Forza. Anyway, see ya!